Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Um, this is the new unit. Uh, this is Cleopatra. She'll be coming out uh, to, well tonight at midnight spot on. Uh, that'll be when Oath Recall is released. Now, um, she has Valkyrie Mastery, which means that any of her, uh, any team that you put her in, um, will effectively she will merge into that team. So she will gain one of these synergies depending on the number of um, units that you have for these particular synergies and the same is true for synergy master so this is striker uh, protector phantom uh, enchanter and monarch as well um, she fits into all of these categories so if say for example you are running a team of four uh, avenger phantoms then she would become an avenger phantom if you are running a team of say four Glorian Strikers, um, then she would become a Glorian Striker. Oh, if you're running a team of um, Doom Monarchs, um, then she would become a Doom Monarch instead. And she will fit in with just about every single team. Uh, now, the next bit on the list uh, are her skills. So Cleopatra um, applies Pharaoh's Pledge. Now, that's exactly the same as Atrop's skill. So let's just go ahead and jump into atrops for a second so uh jumped into atrops her uh, skills uh, applies the uh watcher's pledge on all allies so very similar and something to to keep note of as well as we go through this uh so um applies clear patch well applies pharaoh's pledge uh, effect on all allies increasing their attack by 50 percent of cleopatra's attack so it's an additional 10 percent on top of what atrops is providing um does this mean she's going to be better than atrops uh yes it will be but do you need to um level her up uh, get her up to sort of 10 stars uh, in order for to sort of compete Probably not either, um, because she'll have lower. Uh, sorry, she'll have higher base stats uh, as a royal uh, than uh, Atrops will. Will she be as powerful as Cleopatra on release if you get her to six stars? Absolutely not. Uh, Atrops will still be much more powerful in the fact that you uh, should already have her leveled up as high as you can possibly take her. Um, now, uh, the yeah, so she applies. Uh, for one round, uh, it cannot coexist with other pledges, uh, and then the next skill that we have, uh, again, same thing, Pharaoh's Pledge, increasing attack by 50% of Cleopatra's attack for one round. Um, now, what I'm curious of is whether this can be copied. Now, what I mean by this is, if we go back to, to Atrops, yes, I'm going to keep comparing the two, because effectively they are the same unit. Um, so here... Uh, it says applies watchers pledge on all allies increasing their attack by 40 percent uh, does that mean because you can copy atrops buff so that's why dahlia is able to get such high numbers is because she copies the buff for atrops um, what i'm curious about is whether or not uh, we'll be able to do the same thing with um, cleopatra's skill um, because if it cannot coexist alongside other pledges, does that mean it cannot coexist alongside a copied version of itself? If so, um, then this unit's going to be much weaker than Atrops um, because you won't be able to copy those buffs uh, and you won't be able to, if it cannot coexist, that's that's my, my worry with this, if it cannot coexist with other pledge effects, it says other pledge effects, um, so does that mean other as in different named pledges or can this be copied and can this um, be doubled so for example with Astrid the combo is Serafina, Astrid and Atrops um, Serafina will allow Atrops to double ult twice um, so it will just allow Atrops to double ult uh, therefore applying two stacks of the uh, the Watcher's Pledge whereas if this cannot coexist alongside other pledge effects can this also sit in the same boat that's all that i'm concerned about um, with this unit if it cannot coexist alongside itself uh, then she's got to be nowhere near as powerful as atrops and actually probably just better off with atrops um, 
Now, Cleopatra increases damage reduction by 30%, and every 1% in Cleopatra's crit resistance uh, additionally increases attack by 1%. So, of course, uh, you're going to need to get to 11 stars right away. <laughs> Just joking. Just joking. But seriously, you probably will um, for it to be as powerful as you want it to be. Um, the damage reduction is a really powerful passive ability um, for me, personally. If you put her in a Monarch team and she's got damage reduction, oh... Yeah, love it. Uh, now, at the start of each round, Cleopatra applies one stack of Holy Shield, uh, and then every 1% in crit res additionally increases uh, attack by 1%. Absolutely uh, bog standard, but the Holy Shield is very interesting, uh, especially with uh, the, unit, the likes of Dahlia, who copies buffs, which includes Holy Shields, which includes shields. It's going to be very interesting to see those two work together. Again, my only concern is that this Watcher's Pledge cannot exist alongside itself. And if that is the case, then um, I don't know, I think the devs would need to change that personally. They've allowed Atrops to do it. Why not allow this unit to do it? Who knows? Um, I might be wrong. Uh, it might be able to coexist by itself. We'll need to test it out. So I will be testing it out over the course of the next couple of days uh, just to uh, make sure that you know things are as they should be. And if not then we'll, we'll have to see how things progress and, and how much of a buff she really does give. Uh, now this season, uh, she is uh, part of the uh, the Astral Synergy, um, or technically she's part of both Astrals and Elysians. Uh, but this is uh, Divine Might 2, so after taking action, 50% chance to restore 30 HP if you have her all the way leveled up. Uh, if you don't, uh, you only got her at you know, 1 star, 2 stars, or sorry, 7 stars or 8 stars, um, then yeah, uh, it, it is what it is. You don't really, you're not really looking to get that buff. And Oath Force 2, if you have her up to 15 stars by tomorrow, well done. You know, I'm sure you spent thousands of pounds. Is what it is. Um, <laughs> enjoy the unit. Uh, now let's go ahead and have a look at talents. So talents, uh, crit res, and damage boost as well. I wonder why she got damage boost. That's weird. She's not doing any damage though. Um, that's weird. Crit res and damage boost. Strange. Um, maybe that will increase her attack uh, or the, the overall output for her. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at her runes. So her recommended runes are survival. Um, so it increases on heal rate. Uh, it restores 30% of max HP every round. Of course, she's a support unit, so why wouldn't it be? Um, and then you've got the uh, the divine uh, unique effect and supreme effect, respectively, as well. So um, not many people will get her to red runes. Uh, I don't think her red runes are going to increase her... Um, I don't think her red runes are going to increase uh, her value significantly. Um, it's just all allies uh, damage reduction by 10%. That can be, it can be a very powerful effect. Um, and what I mean when I say that is um, if your team is already very tanky, like for example a Dooms team or for example a, uh, a Monarch team, a Glorian's Monarch team, relatively tanky, uh, with Halissa in there potentially, then um, increasing damage reduction can be a very viable strategy uh, because if enemies can't kill you, you know, then you're not you, you're more than likely going to win. Now, for teams that have relatively low defense, um, say for example a standard uh, Mistfires team um, who or uh, standard Ethereals team who solely rely on the pre-existing damage reduction. I don't know how good this is going to be. If they've got no defense, then the damage reduction is still effectively pointless because if you're getting one shot, taking 30% of that, you may survive one, one, one additional round. So we'll see how effective it is. Increases damage reduction. I do think that, uh, yeah, potentially with uh, different, different synergies like Protector Synergy, like um, like the Monarch Synergy as well, uh, and potentially Shadow Arc Synergy. The fact, well, um, the fact is that if, if you're dodging all of your uh, your enemies' attacks and you've got this damage reduction on top, that you, you're not going, you're just not going to die. You're just not going to take any damage. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how effective that actually is and how achievable that is. I don't suspect that she's going to. Um, I don't suspect she's gonna. She's gonna be super impactful with those runes. I think the majority will come from uh, this here um, and this one. Uh, now, 
something else to note as well um, is that Atrox also heals. Um, well, she, she does if you've got her Light Seeker synergy. Uh, what I mean by that. So your Atrox might not heal, uh, but mine definitely does. And it's thanks to this, the Awakening T2. Uh, Baptism of Dawn additionally heals target for 10%. Um, and heals target for 10%. That will sorely be missed, I think, um, with with Cleopatra, if you're running Cleopatra over our traps. Uh, so, that's it from me. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go into Lost City. Unfortunately, um, being a big dumb idiot I am, I actually accidentally cleared uh, Dawnbringer round 6 on Four, three hundred. I wanted to keep it as a testing stage, um, just because you know the same damage still applies. But it looks like we were not going to. This was the team that I was using. Um, again, I did it back and I was testing out uh, Wukong and Themis, but unfortunately, luck to have cleared it. So, um, what I wanted to show off is just these different synergies um, and how impactful I think she's going to be. So, for example, if I go like, where have you gone? There you are. If I go like this, she fits in this team absolutely perfectly. Um, so Cleopatra will go somewhere in the middle, I suspect, or uh, in one of the corners. Uh, and then you'll have your, uh, your four monarchs, plus you'll have a Mystifier monarch as well. So something to keep in mind um, that she would fit very well within that team. Um, something else to note. Where have you gone? So currently, um, Atrops goes in this team. Potentially, you could also put Cleopatra in this team and she would become a Glorian as well. So a Glorian striker. Um, <laughs> and I mean, this team is this team is already relatively powerful. Uh, it's It can compete in PvP, especially with uh, Seraphina's exclusive runes um, and Naoi being the powerhouse that she is. Uh, she can compete. Now, you would put Catherine in there, but I don't know how... How much different, uh, Catherine, or how much, how much more different the power level will be between Catherine um, and uh, Cleopatra? We'll just have to see. Now, protectors, you've already got, um, you've already got your. In fact, we'll use we'll use Atrops uh, as an example. So Atrops will be Cleopatra in this example. You've already got your your three protectors um, within this, and then potentially, um, you know, you could have another uh you could have leandra you could have um <laughs> you could have bastet who looks very similar um but you could have themis you could have uh gwyn you know a lot of different options for this team and it is uh in fact one of the fullest protectors team that you that you have also something to note you've only got two protectors in dooms and if you were to add say for example um you were to add in the Cleopatra, she would then become a third Dooms Protector. Now, if we go over to Phantoms, this is what's going to be very interesting. Um, you'll have Janna, uh, Mavis, um, Persephone, and Althea. Now, that's the, uh, the four Phantom Dooms team. You will also have a fifth Phantom Doom um, here as well. And it's just something to... To keep in mind that this is how you can potentially fill in certain slots um, and make up teams moving forward. I think the it's going to be a bigger change than people would like to admit. Um, you also have the option to go for uh, a three ethereal uh, enchanters team. Um, so potentially, you know, adding in um, the likes of Orphelia or um, Lachesis and Arcdina to get the full... Uh, Enchanter's team potentially now with the additional attack boost there uh, it might be very very good um, or it might might change the might change the meme team should we say uh, but again uh, there's so many different ways that you're going to be able to build around this unit or not build around but so she's she's like a, a puzzle piece that changes um, for you every time you you do need to um, fit it into a place so you lost a puzzle piece well she is the missing puzzle piece so um let me know what you think uh, about her i'm i'm currently uh, i think she's going to be top notch i really do i, I think she's going to be absolutely um a, a star moving forward and i think she's going to be required um for 
uh, at least having the two teams. So if we go into Palace here, um, if we go into Challenge, as you can see, Atrop's on first team. And then on the second team, you could potentially have uh, this Cleopatra until you start to build up her star level or until she starts outputting more than Atrops. The other thing that you've got to take into consideration is also that she has uh, a Celestial Synergy. Um, so she will have a Royal and Celestial Synergy, which will get you up to five Royals um, and uh, give you an additional Celestial uh, on here. So that would be three Celestials, two um two deviants as well so uh, let me let me know what you think uh, in a team like this by the way uh, with the five different synergies i don't know how she's going to function i suspect if it, in this team specifically if we take out atrops you've you she would become a dooms um she would become a dooms and i don't know what would happen to her last one here's a point what will happen if you have five different uh, faction synergies here what faction will she take probably <laughs> enchanters <laughs> knowing um knowing the devs they'll set the default as enchanters uh, but again if you have the the five different faction synergies which one's she going to choose you know it's obvious that she's going to choose the dooms one here uh, but which one here would she choose let me know down below um and yeah thanks very much for watching uh, you have a great day if you can like and subscribe it'd be really appreciated thanks very much